Welcome to Quiz Quiz Bang Bang, the pub quiz practice show that hits you pow right in the quizzer. Ow. I'm your host, David Flora. And I'm Annie Flora. And we're here to make sure you build up your knowledge by tearing down the city built on rock and roll and building a new one on top of its remains made out of trivia. I hear there's superstitions against the head. I do too. Okay. <laughs> Good. So as long as we both know what what we're getting into. Yep. Uh, Annie. Hmm? Hey, Annie. Hey, David. Hey, what uh, what did you learn this week? Anything new? I did learn something new this week. I learned that Roger Bannister was the first man to run faster than a four minute mile. My gosh, how how fast did the four minute mile run before him? Four minutes. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh. He ran a mile. He's the first. Okay. <laughs> I didn't say that one. <laughs> but you know what I mean. He's the first one to run a mile under four minutes. Gotcha. And yeah, he was an English gentleman and he went on to have a medical career. He was a doctor and he was very happy that that's what he did with his life. He Felt like his biggest accomplishment was his medical career and his family, so. Well, good for him. Yeah. So, he seems like a lovely fellow. When was that? It was actually May 6th, 1954. Already. Cool. Yeah. Uh, my coworker is a runner, and he'll give me running facts while we get Starbucks coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. I need to make friends with, like, a... Um, gambler or something something so, so that i can get like hot gambling tips while i get coffee <laughs> <laughs> that's all people do is whatever they're identified as they they just give you hot tips with that when yeah. you go to get coffee together yeah unfortunately uh, the hot tip for running is just a fact <laughs> just do it frequently <laughs> and you'll get better at it and i want the hot tip to be like no no take a nap <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I I agree with you on that. Well, I tell you what, why don't uh, why don't we get to some trivia, and see uh, what else we learn? How about that? That sounds great. Well, here's the lowdown on how it's going to work. Quiz Quiz Bang Bang is comprised of four rounds of four questions each, followed by the answers. After round two, we'll ask a quick fire Bang Bang question, where you'll have a time limit to give multiple answers. After the fourth round, the show culminates with The Big Bang, a final round with three questions whose answers are all clues to one final question. Round one, question one. The category is mythology. On which vessel did Jason and the Argonauts sail in search of the Golden Fleece? Question two. Category, history. What word comes from the French for wooden shoes as disgruntled French workers would throw their wooden clogs into machinery during the Industrial Revolution? Question three. Category, geography. Which is the largest country in Africa? Question four. Category, World leaders. Who is the current Prime Minister of New Zealand? And now, the answers for round one. Question one. Which vessel did Jason and the Argonauts sail on? The Argo. They made great tea. <laughs> Question two. What word comes from the French for wooden shoes? from the disgruntled French workers during the Industrial Revolution? Sabotage. A sabot is a French clog. Question three. Which is the largest country in Africa? Algeria. Question four. Who is the current Prime Minister of New Zealand? Jacinda Ardern. She made history by being the first world leader at the United Nations to bring a baby. Round two, question five. The category is math. What is the top number of a fraction called? 
Question six, category, film. Who is the only actor to win the Best Supporting Actor Oscar posthumously? Question seven, category is television. Which host has made it into the Guinness Book of World Records for the most episodes of a game show hosted? Question eight, category science. What is the most abundant element in the human body by weight? And the answers for round two, question five. The top number of a fraction is called the numerator. Question six. The only actor to win the Best Supporting Actor Oscar posthumously was Heath Ledger for his performance as the Joker in The Dark Knight. Question seven. Who's in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most episodes of a game show hosted? Alex Trebek won the record in 2014, and at the time he had answered 416,569 questions. Question eight. What's the most abundant element in the human body by weight? Oxygen. It accounts for about 65% of a person's body mass. Carbon is next with about 18% and hydrogen rounds out the top three at 9%. We have now reached the halfway point, which means it's time for the bang bang round. The category is film. You'll have 30 seconds to answer the bang bang question. What are the seven James Bond movies that star Sean Connery? Your time starts now. And that's time. The seven James Bond movies that starred Sean Connery were Dr. No, You Only Live Twice, From Russia With Love, Thunderball, Diamonds Are Forever, Goldfinger, and Never Say Never Again. Round three, question nine. Category, food and drink. Buffalo Trace, Elijah Craig and Early Times are brands of what liquor? Question 10. Category, sports. Which Pittsburgh Pirates player was the first Latin American player to be inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1973? Question 11. Category, games. The name of what popular game is Swahili for build? Question 12. Category, music. Who was the first Beatle to release a solo album? And now the answers for round three. Question nine. Buffalo Trace, Elijah Craig, and Early Times are brands of what liquor? Bourbon. Question 10. Which Pittsburgh Pirates player was the first Latin American player to be inducted to the Baseball Hall of Fame? Roberto Clemente. He was also the first Latin American player to help win a World Series as a starter, receive an NL MVP award, and to receive a World Series MVP award. Question 11. Which popular game is Swahili for build? Jenga. Question 12. Who was the first Beatle to release a solo album? George Harrison with Wonderwall Music. Round four, question 13. The category is U.S. Presidents. 
Contrary to popular belief, George Washington didn't actually wear a powdered wig. All that hair was his. He did powder it white, however. What was his original hair color? Question 14, category, sports. What is the official state sport of Maryland? We're guessing they enjoy it during the day, but especially for nights. Question 15, the category, animals. To the nearest 5,000, how many quills does a porcupine have? Question 16, category, geography. What tourist spot has the Great Hall of the People to its west, the National Museum of China to its east, and the Mausoleum of Mao Zedong just south? And now the answers for round four. Question 13. What was George Washington's actual hair color? Red. Question 14. What's the official state sport of Maryland? That would be jousting. They love it during the day, but especially for nights. Question 15. To the nearest 5,000, how many quills does a porcupine have? 30,000. Question 16. The tourist spot that has the Great Hall of People, National Museum of China, and the Mausoleum of Mao Zedong around it is Tiananmen Square. And that does it for our regular round questions. We now have reached the Big Bang. The Big Bang Round has three clue questions which will help you to answer the final question. The category for the final question is art. However, the three clue questions may not fall into that category. Question one. What is the name of Coldplay's signature song that was on their second album, A Rush of Blood to the Head? and made Rolling Stone's top 500 songs of all time. Question two, built on the remains of Roman fortifications, the Alhambra is a palace and fortress built by Muhammad ibn Yusuf in the 13th century and is located in what European country? Question three, which artistic movement developed out of Dadaism right after World War I? And your Big Bang question. In 1939, French writer and poet André Breton coined the derogatory nickname Avida Dollars, a phonetic rendering of the French phrase meaning eager for dollars, for which 20th century painter? And now the answers to the Big Bang round. Question one. What is the name of Coldplay's signature song? Clocks. Question two. What European country is the Alhambra located in? Spain. Question three. Which artistic movement developed out of Dadaism? Surrealism. And your Big Bang answer? Which 20th century painter was nicknamed Avida Dollars? Born in Spain and famous for his surrealist paintings, including the persistence of memory with the melting clocks, Avida Dollars was also an anagram of Salvador Dali. Wink. Did you just share that answer with me? (laughs) Wink. (laughs) You know, Dali. (laughs) Thanks again for listening to another episode of Quiz Quiz Bang Bang. Please check out our social media. We are on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We post fun Lego pictures with trivia questions, so you can buff up every day. Is that an expression? (laughs) (laughs) Please visit quizbangpod.com to submit questions of your own for us to, to use. Punch the donate button square in the face. 
That would help us uh, keep the lights on here. And please head over to Apple Podcasts and give us a five-star review. That would help us a ton. And don't forget to subscribe and tell everybody about us. Please tell everyone. Everyone. Thanks for listening, everybody. I've been David Flora. I've been Annie Flora. Here's Here's looking looking at at you, you, quiz. quiz.